What's up guys, my name is Sasala from AP Tech, helping you grow further and faster in YouTube. In this channel, we do tips and strategies and also a tech gear review just like this one. So today we're looking at uh, this indoor a security camera from Tekken. So this is a 1080p and it's based on Wi-Fi and uh, it's an indoor. The good thing with this one here, it, uh, it works with your Google Assistant and also works with your Amazon Alexa. So if you have a home system that is powered with Google or Alexa, then you could use that um, to control this camera with your voice. So the packaging is a simple, it's all um, nice and well packaged. All you need to do is just download the app in order for you to set up the process. So first, let's go ahead and look at what does it come with in the packaging. So the packaging, um, you're greeted with your instruction manual. Um, nobody reads that, but you may need it later on. And you would have your um, camera itself. So the camera, it's nice, well-made quality, it's very soft. And what the purpose that we're going to use for this camera is uh, it's for an indoor, as I mentioned earlier, it's not an outdoor, so it's not water resistant or dust resistant. So we're going to plug and play, it also stores an SD card. So if you do have an SD card and you can record the information in there and you can keep it forever, or it, it only records a live data where you can control it in your smartphone. Um, so furthermore in the box, what, what else does it come with? It comes with your socket itself, and it also has about one meter distance cable. So this is not a USB cable, is a standard um, old type of uh, cables and it comes with a double sided tape if you want to mount this on the wall. Um, so that's about it. So I'm, just, I'm going to put on the side. So the first thing we're doing now is we're going to power this on. So we're just going to plug this um, socket to the indoor camera, which is right there. And that is powered on. As you can see, the LED light is indicating powers on. And then you need to grab your smartphone. So depending on what smartphone you use, so I'm using iPhone 13 Pro here, and depending on what smartphone you use, so you just need to grab the box back again and then scan the ID here. And then it says, so this is in a Play Store and then this is on an App Store. So we're going to open that in App Store. So this is the, uh, running on Tekken app. So the, I've already have the Tekken app itself. You just need to create an account if you haven't yet. Then you're gonna to go to the camera and then you're going to hit the plus sign you're going to select which type of camera it is. So as you can see, the camera is this one here, Tekken Click. So we're just going to click that one. And then it's asking us, is the red light flashing? Yes, it is. And then it's going to ask you for your Wi-Fi and password. We're going to go ahead. And then it's going to ask you to show the camera this barcode. So you just need to show it until you hear the sound. You heard that sound. So that sound is basically telling you it recognized the the image itself, the barcode, and it's connecting. So it's been successfully been connected. So it's asking me which room do I want to connect this, um, uh, locate this camera. So I'm just going to do it on my studio, which is also my office. I'm going to click next. And then straight away, you should be able to see the camera setup. And this is me there recording the video itself. So the video quality, it's decent. And you can see me here. And this is my office. Apologies about the mess. And this is very live. So this is live data. And you can see that's my camera there recording with Sony A7C. And that's my desk set up there. Yes, I can see there is a bit of a, a lag there in terms of a delay of showing the image. So it's not 100% um, live data, but it's a milliseconds variance. I cannot say that is really bad. So at the moment, I think it's really good. So. What other features does it come with? You can actually take photos, you can record videos. So that's recording a video there and you can save that video itself. And then you can go to the album. If there's any videos or photos saved, you will see all of the videos and images in here. So these are the pictures that I've just taken. And it tells you the date there as well. Okay, so if we go to the setting, what other options do we have? So the good thing with this, not only video, you can also speak to the camera. For example, if you are at work or away and you're driving and it has detected motion, so I'm going to just click motion detection. Okay, sensitivity very high. And then we, we can also do sound detection. You can share the camera itself with somebody else with the same app and then you could view it both on and off from there. Audio video, so audio recording, it has the audio recording. So you've also got the night vision on and off. 
So I've turned it off. Now it's on the night vision. So the LED indicator, you can see there's a white LED indicator there. I can turn it off just by hitting that off button. We're going to leave it as it is the rest of the setting. As you can see again here, it has Alexa and Google Assistant if you want to. Right, so what we're doing now is we're going to insert the SD card here. Okay, so what we need to do now is find a location for where we want to place this. But the trouble is with this as well, wherever you want to place it, so it's not going to be uh, really decent. So let's go ahead and place this uh, somewhere so that way whoever comes in through the door, they can see everything. So this is how it looks like now. We have um, literally set it up where we want it. Um, apologies about the mess in my studio. Um, so you can see the door is as soon as somebody comes in, it has uh, some, sort of, some sort of a detection. It detects everything from there and then it will basically record whoever's in the studio or in the office. So this is an audio test with the Tekken indoor security camera. I'm just seeing how the quality is and the audio. I don't know if you can hear me, uh, like Chris, that I would like. And this has a two-way audio channel where I can speak to somebody else at the same time. Uh, if I'm away and I see a detect a message here, I can speak to them directly from here. And this is amazing that the individual, I can tell them or alert them and say that, wait, I'm watching you, what are you doing in my office? Or Give them like some sort of indication. In my opinion, one thing that I think that this camera lacks is that the ability of the cable itself is not long enough. The cable is only one meter, so you need to have a power socket somewhere nearby in order for you to use the capacity. If you want to install this somewhere on the wall very high, then you would have the limitation of the cable unless you have a, a power extension that's running up close by. So this is the only downside. Other than that, I think this is fantastic and it's priced around £20. So that is very cheap. Um, well, you've just made it to the end of today's video. If you found this video useful, do hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel. Uh, if you could also follow us on Instagram. Till next time, stay legend.